I really just wanted to show off the beads in here because they are so pretty. Well, hello again, it's Brie. And today I have come to show you my hair. It's purple, you know, so you're probably, um, oh, it's just turning white, but um, it is what it is. So it's purple now. I put the purple rinse over the pink because I wanted it to be more, um, you know, my mom, it was my mom. When she said she didn't like it, it just kind of threw it off threw off how I felt about it because I was already questioning questioning it girl what so yeah I uh, made it purple the purple's cute though I will give you a 360 and I really wanted to show you the beads that I got from Hobby Lobby so this video is going to be short but I wanted to drop in and say hey anyway I don't know how dirty it's looking, but you know. And yes, it's been cut. It has been cut because when I was when I was coloring my hair, the ends were breaking. So I had I've been having to cut it and stuff. So I actually have a date soon, so I'm gonna Oh yeah, I just wanted to show you these beads. God. Okay. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I got actually a lot of beads from Hobby Lobby. I got some wooden ones too. I'm gonna show you. And but I wanted to use these because I thought they'll give a better contrast with my purple hair. So I'll put them in and they're actually kind of cute. Um what I would do if you're looking for simple things, like I wear my hair down every single day of my life. And, and it's just down and straight looking. And so beads will really help jazz it up and i know you all already know this but i found some beads i've been looking for beads that would um that would suit my hair you know the size and then also the color the color needs to be a bright enough or a different enough contrast from your hair in order for the you know in order to see it so found these they're all gold and they're so pretty and many of them well most of them will fit on my hair so my favorite ones are these rectangular ones i'm gonna get that out and also what looks to be like roses there are these two see that's a rectangle and then this is a rose and the hole is about that big for both of these and then they got some other ones i like this one too but it's for the really tiny locks that i have trying to show you what it looks like but um so yeah i'm just gonna put them on try not to od on them too much right now but i think that when y'all don't see me no more i'm gonna put some more on and probably will od on them later <laughs> but um so yeah i typically wear my hair down the middle since I have gained so much weight recently, I feel like it helps to slenderize my round face. I got sort of a boxy face, but I also have a very round face. So I think wearing it down the middle makes it more boxy, more pretty. But it doesn't matter. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you take a crochet hook. This is the one that I use when I do people's instant locking. This is 0.7, so it's one of them. And you want to just pick a lock, probably in the front. I'm going to pick one in the front. Um, that one's actually really little, so I'm not going to use that one because it's not going to. Okay, and this is one that was combined. That's why it's bigger up here and little down here because it was two little locks. So before you look at it and be like, girl, your hair ugly. Okay, cut me some slack please okay but yeah so we're gonna just add this by sticking the crochet hook through there and sliding that up and i'm actually gonna slide it up to this part that way that that lock that one doesn't come down and i kind of wanna get a different one 
I want to get one that I was saying is for the very little locks. And we have another geometric pattern here. It's kind of cool. I don't know what. One, two, three, four. So it is a 24 sided <laughs> situation. And I'm going to put this one on the end because it's for little locks. The little ones. I have some, still have some really tiny ones in the front. A lot of my locks have been combined over the years, but I still got some left. And Angelina, she does my locks for me. So there were some of the locks where it was hard for her to pull the double-headed dragon through the roof. So she was like, can she cut it? And I said, yeah. You know, Back in the day, I was doing my own hair, so it was easy. But um, now that she does my hair, she can take over that aspect of my hair's life you know whether or not there should be a two-headed dragon or not okay so you see it's it's a tight fit but this means that it's not this is not gonna slide down it's not gonna slide down and slide off you know so that's how that works you've seen me do that a thousand times but i really just wanted to show off the beads in here because they are so pretty and now let me get the other beads for you so first of all look at these blue you know ombre cowrie shells i bought these too i thought these were really cute um that'll look really nice on my hair somewhere i can put those up it's hard to see but then i also got these and these will match the size of my hair and then two so all the beads don't say what they are but this says eight by six millimeters drum pony bead plastic so this is the size that they are just in case you're going you're trying to reference what size you need to purchase and then i also bought these wooden beads these would look really good on my hair too because of the color and contrast and i was looking for beads that had little designs on them for instance like this one right here yeah like i i used to have some blue beads like this y'all probably don't remember me like that but they're um they were they were looking kind of like um aquatic and these are the equivalent of those they're just uh, more nature more like more wood nymph than see now okay so yeah i got some beads and stuff i'll be putting them on my hair and um yeah i'm overall generally very happy very busy person and that is a blessing i'm very happy to report that to you all if um i am not a big youtuber anymore i guess i don't feel like i'm important you know to the youtube world there are people who would beg to differ but you know what it is what it is i'm trying to make some money so i can have some children and um live a long interesting life but i say all that to say thank you all for tuning in today you might hear more from me depending on how well this video does you might not but if you're wondering i'm doing good and i hope that you are too so i will talk to you all later bye oh my nails cute as hell reverse ombre on one hand but okay yep bye